In the heart of the vast and diverse tapestry of our planet lies a nation that I proudly call home, a land of beauty, culture, and rich history. This is my country, a place where the past and present coalesce to shape the future. As I traverse the landscapes of my homeland, from the towering mountains to the sprawling plains, I am reminded of the intricate mosaic of experiences that define its essence. Nestled between the shores of two great oceans, my country boasts a geographical diversity that mirrors the multitude of cultures that call it home. To the north, majestic mountain ranges stand tall, their snow-capped peaks piercing the azure sky. These formidable barriers not only shape the climate, but also provide a sanctuary for unique flora and fauna that have adapted to the harsh conditions of high altitudes. Descending from the mountains, one encounters vast plains stretching as far as the eye can see. Here, golden fields of grain dance in the breeze, a testament to the agricultural prowess that has sustained my country for centuries. The rhythmic cycle of planting and harvesting has become a cultural tradition, binding communities together in a shared dependence on the land. As I traverse the landscape, I am struck by the dichotomy of bustling urban centers against the backdrop of serene rural expanses. In the heart of the cities, towering skyscrapers reach for the heavens, symbols of progress and innovation. The vibrant energy of these metropolises is contagious, with people from all walks of life converging in a harmonious dance of diversity. Yet, within the urban sprawl, pockets of history and tradition persist. Ancient monuments and architectural wonders bear witness to the passage of time, serving as a bridge between the past and the present. These structures stand as silent guardians, narrating tales of triumphs and tribulations, preserving the collective memory of a nation. Beyond the urban centers, quaint villages dot the countryside, each with its own unique charm. Here, time seems to move at a different pace, and the simple pleasures of life take precedence. The aroma of traditional cuisine wafts through the air, beckoning travelers to partake in the culinary delights that have been passed down through generations. The diversity of my country extends beyond its landscapes to its people, a kaleidoscope of ethnicities, languages, and traditions. Walking through the bustling markets, I am greeted by a cacophony of dialects each a testament to the rich linguistic tapestry that weaves through the fabric of my nation. It is in this linguistic diversity that the true beauty of unity emerges, a celebration of differences that strengthens the bonds of a collective identity. Cultural festivals, with their vibrant colors and spirited celebrations, serve as a living testament to the resilience of traditions. Whether it be the rhythmic beats of drums during a harvest festival or the colorful processions that mark religious occasions, these events bring communities together in a shared expression of joy and solidarity. Yet, my country is not without its challenges. As the world undergoes rapid transformation, my nation grapples with the complexities of progress. The delicate balance between economic growth and environmental sustainability becomes a pressing concern. The same rivers that have nurtured civilizations for centuries now face the threat of pollution, demanding a collective effort to preserve the lifelines of our land. Education, too, emerges as a cornerstone in the edifice of progress. As my country marches towards a future defined by innovation and technology, the importance of empowering the youth through quality education becomes paramount. It is through the enlightenment of minds that the seeds of change are sown, fostering a generation capable of steering the nation towards new horizons. In the realm of politics, the heartbeat of my country resonates with the rhythm of democracy. The voices of the people echo through the corridors of power, shaping policies that reflect the collective aspirations of a nation. Democracy, however, is not without its complexities, and the pursuit of a more perfect union remains an ongoing endeavor. Economic disparities, a challenge faced by many nations, cast a shadow on the landscape of opportunity. Bridging the gap between the privileged and the marginalized becomes a moral imperative, 
As my country strives to ensure that the fruits of progress are shared equitably among its citizens. Amidst these challenges, a spirit of resilience and optimism prevails. It is the same spirit that fueled the struggle for independence, a chapter in my country's history that resonates with courage and sacrifice. The echoes of freedom fighters who stood against colonial oppression reverberate through the generations, a reminder that the path to progress is often paved with the footsteps of those who dared to dream of a better tomorrow. As I reflect on the intricate tapestry of my country, I am filled with a profound sense of gratitude and responsibility. Gratitude for the bountiful blessings bestowed upon this land and responsibility to contribute towards its continued growth and prosperity. My country is not merely a geographical entity but a living, breathing organism shaped by the dreams and endeavors of its people. In conclusion, my country is a symphony of diversity, a testament to the resilience of its people, and a canvas on which the past, present, and future converge. It is a land where the echoes of history guide the footsteps of the present and where the aspirations of tomorrow take root in the fertile soil of tradition. My country, with all its complexities and contradictions, is a journey, a journey that I embark upon with pride, gratitude, and a steadfast commitment to contribute towards a future that honors the legacy of the past.